What's going on guys off the brink TV bringing you another video Little something different today Let's play some Bloodborne Play online is that a real question? We don't do offline What? Let's try it I don't know how I don't I just got my PS4 yesterday so You'll have to excuse me I got it for this game and a couple of other games. It's, you know, if I'm going to have a gaming channel, I need to have both consoles. If you know what I mean, adjust the brightness. We want that shit bright or so we could see some ish, no? We're going to have to work with these basic controls until oh, we get yeah. it popping. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. Yarnum? You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. I need that Yarnum blood, whatever that is. Guess we'll find out. Oh, I gotta make my own guy? Enter name, you know what my name's gonna be. Crooked, as in every game. If you guys want my PSN since I just got this bad boy, it's Crooked86, just like that with the I. Gender, we don't do, we, we, we're not emo, and we're not virgins, so we stick with males. What is this? No, I want to stay male, age young, because I'm young. Origin. We're going to go, I read a little bit about this, so we're going to go with the most vitality. We want the most health. Appearance. Let's go. Again with the gender and age. Voice. Young voice. Build. Slim. Very slim. Whoa, burly. Very burly. Oh, right. Small head? What kind of body type is small head? Big head? What should we do? Slim, standard, very slim. We're gonna go with the standard. Why do I- I don't want to adjust the size of my head. Chest. Oh, how do we want my guy's chest to be? Should we have him- Does he lift? Does my boy lift? You better be lifting if he's going to take out these demons. I don't even know how... What is this? I don't even see it adjusting anything. Do you guys see this doing anything right now? What the... I guess we'll just go with, like, the, the basic in the middle thing here. What is going on? Legs. Whatever. I don't see that doing anything. Look at this pretty boy. All right, what do we do? Base skin color. We don't want my guy looking milky, so we're going to have to go with some tan. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm European, so we need to give my boy some color. Give him that olive complexion. Like that money. What the? Where is just regular skin? Uh, what is all? What is this? Look at this guy. <laughs> this guy looks like a maze. Is that lipstick? This guy's sick. I don't want him to be pink. Look at this. I just want him to be normal skin tone. That's the problem with these Dark Souls games. They look so funky, these guys. Wow, look at that. Caspa. Alright, we'll go with this one. Looks the closest. What, you could adjust the skin tone also? Oh, you could change the values by 10 with the triggers so we can see what we're doing here. All right, this I see a change. So let's go. I don't want him to look purple or nothing. We got skin layers. Skin layer two. What? Uh, I don't want him to look like a black and blue. Very important. Character customization is very important. Because if you don't like the way a guy looks, you, you know what I'm saying? Especially in a game like this where you don't want to restart. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't like the way he looks, you're not gonna be you're not gonna be too into playing your guy. So it's really important to customize your guy the way you want him to look and make sure he looks right. You know, the first time around, so you don't want to 
restart. Now we got face presets. And now it just did, it changed everything I just did. Oh my lord. All right, he looks he looks good money. Now we got to go back to face shape. What? Look at all this. Facial balance. Can someone explain to me what a b facial balance is? I guess if he's like proportioned or not. Mouth to chin distance. Guy, there's nothing changing on him when I do this. Oh, when you do the values like that, you can really see it. Why, wow, you could really tweak this and get in there. Like, one notch is literally so minuscule. Chin depth, chin size. Well, we don't want him to look like a, what he's killing, so let's just go with a normal size chin. How do we adjust his nose? Right, let's go to the nose. Let's try to shrink this nose a little bit. Nose height, let's bring it down a little bit. Just trying to give this guy a regular looking schnoz. How do we spread it out a little bit? That is way too narrow for any human being. We need to give him a pudgy nose like me. Nah, here we go. Nostrils. Nostril size. Let's bring these bad boys out. Look at this sicko. <laughs> Jaw. Protrusion. No shot. <laughs> no way. Jaw width. Maybe we could do something. Yeah, we could do this. We could bring this out. Make his face a little rounder. I feel like I know this guy. I think I've seen him before somewhere. Is it just me? Does my guy look like a uh, like he's dead? He lo he looks like Chandler from Friends. <laughs> oh no! Eyes, eye position, up, down. Oh, with these settings, I don't want it to look like he waxes his eyebrows. What is this? Let's do the hair. What kind of hair are we going to give my boy? Oh, cool. Look at the way that animates. Should we give him that girl hair? What is that? Nah, you know what? We're going to go with the long hair. Yeah, I think I kind of like this one. Man, hair always gets me because it's so hard. You know, because because the graphics and stuff, it's hard for them to make strands of hair well that's why so many different games are few and far between good hairstyles but some games just seem to nail it that's why i like it when games take uh uh an animated approach almost like a cartoonish approach because you could do the hair like much better that with with that type of art style brow oh that's wild oh talk speak of, speaking of anthony davis <laughs> Oh, we got to give him a beard, no? Give him some type of facial hair. Yeah, now he's starting to look like a human being. We should Oh, should we should we get him fitting with the times with some some crazy handlebars? Do we like the flavor saver right here? Or the ba ba buoy? <laughs> uh, I will right, go with this one. Eyelashes, yo, wildin'. Uh, what the hell? Eyelash color. No. Alright, pupil. Size of pupil. This is wild, dude. Yeah, we could make him like a greenish blue. I was gonna say like that. It's crazy. Right pupil size. So you can have two different eyes. Make him look like he's cockeyed. <laughs> It says tattoos though, tattoo or mark. Glasses. Whoa, that's pretty bugged. Those are dope too. Maybe for another character though, because I just spent so much time on his eyes. Nah, actually, those are hard. Those are tough. It's like some fear and loathing shit. Color of glasses too. Wow, they are no no shortage of options in this game. Feminine or masculine face. <laughs> Look at... Why does he all of a sudden become an Asian woman when he's feminine? We're gonna save this face to favorites. That's a tongue twister. Just in case we lose our settings. And want to adjust it later on, I'm assuming. So, after playing with the settings a little more. And some presets, I got him to look halfway decent. Gonna go with this hair hairstyle. I feel like it'll look cool with the hats on. And that's about it. And he looks cool standing up like that. A little girly for my liking, but I couldn't get him to look like, you know, a dude. 
So let's get it going. Finish. Contract finalized. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. That don't sound good. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing. I hope I could kill him like in the Dark Souls game. I could just kill anybody I want. Because he's getting it. Oh, already. Damn, look at the blood dripping off of him. Graphics is sick. My precious. Get off me, son. That's what, that's what I feel like every morning. Yourself a hunter. Ioskfksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksksk
Alright, I guess we're in the dream world now. This is gonna play a pivotal role. Better get used to seeing this. I'm sure I'm gonna die quite a bit. View Spectre. This guy just, I guess, died here. Some notes over here, too. What do we got? Oh, we okay. So, this is how we run. Press O to run. Some more notes over here. Toggle items. We don't have any of those yet. Switch weapons. If you don't have a weapon, he just scratches his ass. In case you're wondering. Emergency Quicksilver Bullet Replenishment. Use with caution. Performing this action drains HP. Okay, and uh, yes, it does drain HP. Transform weapons, transforming attack. So, that's when we go from... One to two hands. Hitting an enemy from behind will charge attack. Causes them to stagger. Interesting. Shooting your firearm will interrupt and stagger an enemy. When properly timed to their attacks. R1 when next to staggered enemy. Visceral attack. I guess that's like the finishing move. After taking damage from an enemy, there is a period of time in which attacking the enemy in return will restore a certain amount of your HP. Interesting. Alright. So let's go get some weapons. What's this? Trade in blood echoes with messengers to buy and sell items. Let's take a quick look at some items we could buy. Here's some gear. We can buy pebbles too, apparently. Oh, let's get a move on. Ooh, creepy. A notebook received from the messenger. Leave messages with these loyal servants to share them with hunters in the other worlds. Notebook. Nice. Oh, here's the guy with the weapons. Gift from messengers. Choose one trick weapon. Alright, so... I know I see everybody with the saw cleaver, and I heard it's like the most versatile weapon. However, I thought the threaded cane was pretty beastly. I thought it was really cool. So I think I'm gonna go with the threaded cane. I wish I was live streaming so I can ask some opinions. Let's go with the threaded cane just to be different. Alright, so now how do we equip this bad boy? Oh, scratching my ass again. Inventory. Attire. Arms. Alright, so we equipped that. Quick items. We got notebook and... We got a notebook and we'll get the hunter mark. Where's my weapon though? There we go. What up? And then it transforms into a chain. Whoa. Alright, that's cool. Closed. We forgot him. Oh, my firearm. And I'm also going to go with the pistol. We're going to equip that, too. Alright. How do we shoot, though? I forget. What'd they say? Alright, L2 is to shoot. This door is still closed. What did I miss? No place to awaken. Awaken at a selected location in Yarnam. First floor sick room. 
Let's go. Alright, so now we're back in where I died, I guess. Right hand weapon, attack. We know this already. Options, open options menu, back step. And roll, quick step. How do you take... Oh, just pressing circle, back step, so we could be like... Juke them! Do we got a Euro step? We need a Euro step in this game. Shoot, L2. Got it. Alright, let's give this a whirl. Let's whip out the chain on this puppy. Pun intended. View notes. When locked onto a target, you will quick, st quick step instead of rolling. Interesting. So when I lock on... Nice. What you got? What you got, boy? Oh, snap! Blood echoes retrieved. Blood vial. How do we use the blood vial? Why is he scratching his ass again? View Spectre. Alright. For reals, for reals. How do we use the blood vial? Triangle? There we go. Let's get up to full health, though. What do we got here? Two more blood vials. Restore HP. <laughs> if I would have just walked two steps, it would have told me how to do it. It's another stone, whatever that does. Alright. Let go. Going out into the world now. Another specter. I hear something. Quick silver bullets. I hear something marching. Where's that coming from? Alright, let's go in here. Closed by a device. Interesting. So it looks like we have to go this way. View Spectre. View Notes. Time for blood. It looks like someone wrote that. <gasps> Some heavy gates. Sentry. Yarnum. Yarnum. few notes you've come to the right place thank you friend hope hopefully it wasn't a troll whoa what up what you got boy let's lock on to you i got some range Let, let's go into let's go into long range mode here oh oh you got an all fan too huh oh you're easy to kill Look at his body. Get out of here. What you got, boy? Can I stomp him out? Scrub. Look at this wagon. Can I just get in here and drive away? Search body. We got some more blood vials. Blood vials can't hurt. Few notes. Time for quick weapons. Here he goes. Look at this guy coming out of the ground. Two shots, boy. Items waits ahead. I see you. I see you. I'm 
Molotov cocktail. What's over here? It's a bunch of sandbags. Operate device. Nice. Well, let's just take a minute to check out the world. Damn, beautiful environment. I hear something roaring. I wonder if it's gonna be give me more jump scares this game or Dying Light. Dying Light used to make me jump. Should have I should have put some videos up of that game. That was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Light lamp. All right, so this is like a save point, I think. The lamp will now transport you back to the hunter's dream. Upon death, you will awaken at this lamp. Duly noted. What do we got over here? I saw our next. All right. Don't give up. I won't. Troll. Whoa. I hear something. Sorry, guys, if I move slow, but I'm trying to play cautiously here. Whoa! All right, jump scare number one. I like this chat. I'm glad I went with the chain, though. I feel like I got a little more range than these guys with the cleaver. The ragdoll effects are cool. I like when games have ragdoll effects. Few notes. You must accept madness. Oh, must I now? Beware of the man beast. Uh oh. I hear something. Oh, shit. They're right here. One down. Got him. I don't know what these specters do, though. I hear something pounding at the floor, and I'm scared it's gonna, like, just jump up at me. Alright, now there's some guys down here. Fear patrol. Fear, or, or, does, it, or does he mean fear the patrol? Is there a way I could just, like, I don't know if I'm gonna aggro those guys right now. You know what? YOLO. Can I just shoot one, like taunt one, and then just take out one at a time? These, they look like they got a lot of health. Maybe I should just let them roll on by first and go this way. What's up here? Or is this the way I came? Yeah, it's the way I came. There's no jump button, huh? Alright. Some stuff burning here. Few notes. Beware of giant beast. Uh oh. Oh, right there. Fear strong foe. Oh my goodness. We have to kill this guy, don't we? Oh, snap! What up, boy? D up! Wow! Alright, death number one. I don't think I was supposed to try and kill this guy yet. 